What's up guys? So I've finally made it through the Canadian border. It was a pretty brutal drive because they only give you three days and two nights to make it through, which is pretty much 13 hours of straight driving. And the other pretty exhausting thing about driving through Canada is a lot of the places had a ton of smoke due to fires. Um, we actually couldn't drive through one road because it was closed, I think, due to fires. So we had to go back about hour and a half, two hours and take a longer route. So that kind of just added to our exhaustion. So we're pretty tired. So today we're kind of taking an easy chill day, but also kind of catching up on work and doing laundry. You can actually see Tatha's back here working. Do my editing. Excuse the mess. We are also going to clean today. <laughs> It's not that bad though. Yeah, it's just the blankets. The good thing about this style of bed that we, uh, this conversion, we don't really have to make the bed, we just have to push it back <laughs> and it's kind of out of the way and yeah, no big deal. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the nice thing about the bed too is we don't have to take down all the pillows because um, I know when you have that, um, what is it Murphy style? Not Murphy style. No, the, just like the conversion one. Yeah, like the bed to table. Yeah. When you have that bed to table, you have to break it down move all the cushions, stuff all those cushions, stuff all those blankets somewhere. Our blankets just stay messy up there. <laughs> but look how much space I have on the couch. Lean back and chill and edit. So if you watch the main channel, then you guys already know that we tried to cross once, but we didn't have our COVID test in time. And we were hoping because they test at the border as well, maybe there'd be some leniency, but um, fortunately, we had to go back, wait for our test, and then we could cross again. And we're able to cross because we have proof of work in Alaska. And things are going to be changing soon. So Canada will be allowing you to cross through or even vacation in Canada if you are vaccinated, I believe. You need to double check the website. Really glad we have a full kitchen in the van because crossing through Canada means you can't stop anywhere to eat unless it's through a drive through which means we would have just been eating junk food, probably a lot of Tim Hortons. <laughs> which is good. We went yeah. through the drive through twice. And super cheap. Yeah. yeah, it's good. Yeah, I was pretty surprised that our drive through coffee was pretty decent. Even though we've been cooking pretty much every single day, um, we still haven't run out of power, which is pretty much just powered by the solar and driving, which was another awesome thing that we did is we can recharge our batteries driving. So that entire drive through Canada, we had plenty of charge. And honestly, the van has been performing very well. Uh, well, first of all, the performance, the mileage I get on a Sprinter van, this one, I am averaging uh, 19 miles to the gallon uh, for the past 3,000, over 3,000 miles, because that's how much we've driven so far. Uh, we've actually driven about 3,300 miles to get here to Alaska. Um, and we did go up and down uh, Washington a couple times, but uh yeah really great gas mileage for a f like you know a full van with a roof rack solar panels roof deck and i even have a kayak up there so um considering all those 19 miles to the gallon is great and this uh, runs on diesel so it is more efficient uh, with that diesel uh, v6 so when you drive through canada the gas is pretty pricey driving through um and it's all in canadian dollars to liters so you have to convert to U.S. dollars to uh, gallons because that's how we do it, right? So I think it was about four dollars per gallon that I kind of did a rough calculation on. Um, so yeah, it's uh, and, but the gas mileage on this, happy with it, and the functionality of our van. Honestly, I'm loving it. So far, I can't find anything that I would change. Yeah, I love everything. It's the van's been great. Nothing's getting loose or. Nothing's feeling like it's gonna, you know, fall apart. Um, yeah, the amount of water we have, we have a 24 gallon water tank and you can't fill it all the way to the top. Um, you have to, I think you have to stop it where like the water actually goes in, which is below. So it's, and it's, and it's been fine. We, I think the, probably lasts us like, if we use it conservatively, like a week, huh? At least yeah. super happy with the build. Uh, yeah, nothing's broken yet. This is <laughs> this is epoxy. This is wood, real wood. So, all right, guys, we're gonna get back to chores. Gotta do laundry. Gotta clean the van because the whole drive up, we hit so many bugs. Also, saw a lot of animals. 
Um, we saw moose, we saw bears, we saw bears with their babies, we even saw porcupine. Um, so anyways, yeah, gonna get back to work. We'll see you soon. After finishing all our chores in town, we decided to explore around and we found this awesome lake and decided to camp here for about two nights now. Let me show you guys around. So behind is just the van, but over here, this is the campsite. It's got a nice little lakeside view. Talk is inside the mosquito proof room because the mosquitoes in Alaska are no joke. That's why I'm wearing this mosquito net. <laughs> <laughs> I've been getting bitten all day, all night, last night, and there's one right there. <laughs> They're big. They're neat. There it goes. And let me show you the view from our campsite. What's cool about our campsite is we get to park our kayak right here and we just climb up over there, come up to here. But mostly we've just been kayaking around, fishing, kind of just relaxing. Shouldn't have brought this banana. I'm not superstitious or anything, but just a little stitious. You see, banana's bad luck for fishing. There's no bears though. too windy and it might get a little dangerous if we start getting white caps on the lake uh, especially in this kayak so we're gonna head back in for now Ooh. oh that was tough just kayaked almost all the way across the entire lake and when we we're almost to the other side I felt the wind on my back and I was like uh oh so I was like, we got to turn around because there's gonna be start getting windy so we headed right back and man it took took a long time and a lot of energy too. These kayaks are great but they're so lightweight that when there's wind and especially if you're going against it, oh it's so tough. Oh, but we're back now, our campsite's right here. Finally. Alright, kinda had to run back to the safety of the mosquito proof house <laughs> um, because the mosquitoes try to get you through your clothes um, and they do they yeah. do bite through your clothes it's yeah. pretty crazy yeah when I get bitten my bites swell to like the size of a golf ball <laughs> yeah they do and they last like a week or two yeah it's mine like, only last a few hours maybe yeah. two three hours yeah and that's gone. true yeah mine's like one week big and inflated the second week it goes about purpley color and then the third week it's like yellow and then fourth week it starts to fade. <laughs> yeah, it lasts a while. Yeah. Oh, the kayak is really great for the van since it packs pretty small. Um, we want to one day be able to get his pedal kayak up there. We just haven't figured out. Yeah, since I have the solar panels up there, then I have to elevate the kayak so it doesn't hit the solar panels. And then that means we can't use the solar while the kayak is there too so yeah yeah i gotta figure that out um, also carrying it up there back. yeah also putting it up there would be uh. a pretty difficult task a hundred pound kayak yeah. Uh, yeah for these longer trips i think that that oru kayak is perfect because mm -hmm. uh, we want to be able to get on the lake sometimes yeah. but uh yeah with the big kayak my pedal kayak there's too much gear that goes with it and mm -hmm. you don't have enough space for that either yeah that's true yeah our solar lasted pretty long time. I think we've been parked in the shade for two days now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. batteries are good. 
Yeah, we've been parked in the shade the past two days and we have about 50% battery left. Yeah. 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 We also cooked outdoors a bit. Yeah, we cooked outside too. Half the meals, I guess. Yeah, outside. we still cooked. We still used induction um, a little bit. I charged my laptop charged my so la we could charged edit. Charged laptop, charged uh, cameras, phones, things mm -hmm. like that. Uh, we've been using the fan pretty much constantly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's been really warm in Alaska, like 70 to 75, I think, most days. Yeah, surprisingly, <laughs> like, really nice weather. Yeah, <laughs> which has been a little disappointing because I was hoping for a little bit of cold. <laughs> yeah, we brought, like, cold weather clothes. Yeah. <laughs> also, with more layers, the mosquitoes can't get you. Mm, yeah. But I keep finding them, the little needly yeah. beaks going in. But even right now, it's like such perfect temperature. Mm -hmm. It's like 67, 68. Yeah. We haven't seen any bears yet, though. So oh. It's a little... I know. I know we talked to some guys who are like, yeah, they haven't been here for two days. We're just like... Yeah. Just missed them. Yeah. Hopefully, well, we'll keep looking in the river. Cause it, it's yeah. It's supposed to be um, like a very well-known river. For bears, yeah. Yeah, for bears. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually marked as like a bear lookout spot on the maps. Yeah. There's a bunch of salmon come up that river yeah. into this lake. So there's bears just hang out and uh, catch salmon and eat it. Mm -hmm. And we're hoping to film some of them. Still haven't found berries. Or there's berries around us. They're just not ripe yet. Yeah. Blueberries, are, the flowers are just falling off. So, yeah. so we can't eat them yet. It's just under... Tonight will be our last night here in Haines. Tomorrow around 4 p.m. we're gonna head to Juno on the ferry. And what are we doing in Juno? I don't know yet. We don't have too many plans. Mm -hmm. We have a plan on meeting up with Barnacle Foods. Uh, we'll probably meet up with my friend there and fish. Berry pick. Pick some berries. Yeah. Yeah. Hike. Have a good time. Hopefully, see mm -hmm. a bear. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, like bald eagles. Well, there's a couple in, at this lake that we've been seeing pretty constantly. Um, but they're high up in the trees. Should we get a beer today too? Yeah, One hell yeah, that beer. brewery is pretty good. Yeah. Do we the... film there at all? No, huh? No, I don't no, think so, but we can grab beer. some beers today. I really like that IPA. Yeah. We discovered uh, Alaska has some really weird beer laws. Oh yeah, somebody messaged me on Instagram and told me about the beer laws. Yeah. There's like a brewery, if you're in a brewery, you're only allowed 36 ounces of beer per day. <laughs> I guess it's a lot, and right? That's like that's half a beers. growler. That's three beers. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Three 12 ounces. good enough for me. Yeah, I mean, it's good <laughs> enough, but, but at a bar, you're allowed pretty much unlimited. Yeah, and that's weird. At a brewery, it said like no dancing and no music. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's <laughs> no a having fun. Thing. I don't know if that and the campsite we're staying at tonight is actually going to be pretty close to the brewery. We would have either stayed here or just stopped at the rest stop like we did the first night, but we need to recharge and refill the water on our van in our van since we can't really find anywhere to fill water. Um, there is actually a spot here in Haines where you can get water from the glacier, but it's literally just a spout of water just pouring out. So it's not easy to just, you know, refill a whole tank, but the glacier water, it's so good. So I guess we'll see you guys maybe at the brewery or we'll just see you in Juneau.